are picking Inkling. Which is a lot, which makes a lot of sense because, you know, Mr. R was such a heavy, like, setup player. Yeah. When he, back when he had Sheik, he always had to set up for his confirms or his, even just, like, the big damage output that he would do. Right. And Inkling, very similar. Oh, yeah, I, I did see him play Inkling, actually, I believe, at a recent event. Um, I think this is actually only a second event, or, like, tournament-wise in the U.S. for Ultimate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he has not been here too often. But yeah. now that he is here, you know, we, we in fact love Mr. R having him here. Exactly. In SoCal. Happy he's feeling better and happy he's able to get like his uh, visa situation settled and all yeah, that. I heard he was having some travel issues. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit, man. But I'm glad that he's still making effort to come out here. Let's go, Mr. R. Okay, so now we got Mr. R versus Heavy. I'm totally excited to see what is going to come out from these two players. And of course, you know, if this is, your, if this is going to be your first introduction to Snake, if you haven't seen NBD or the other Snakes, this is a great Snake to watch. Oh, and he's got that leopard crank going on, too. That's good. All right, this is just going to be bombs everywhere. I mean, that makes sense. Like, there's, yeah. there's, there's a splat bomb. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> exactly. No problems here. All right, so Snake. Oh, okay, I like the movement that he's utilizing, but that back air going to get parried and cause him to get a rapid jab ink all over him. And I love that he opted to go high, so he can try to get that ink to fade off a little bit before he gets into the fight. That's right. There is a time limit on the ink that you can basically get put on here. And yeah. of course, whenever you do have ink, you, there is a percent, percentage amount of damage that it, it increases by. Yeah, it's, it's like something like... I think like double damage and double knockback, right? Uh, or yeah, like half? Something, it's around. Like, I think something it's 1. like that. 1.5. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right into the roller. That's going to be a... Oh, okay. Didn't go for the force smash. Maybe he didn't have enough time. Saw how quick that heavy was mashing out. Oh, so great stuff by him. You reckon, act, you're proficient at mashing. You can actually escape that uh, roller uh, extremely quickly. You don't actually give Inkle too many, uh, an opportunity to charge. Right. And oh, so much pressure right there with the ledge, on the ledge. But it doesn't matter. That up air going to take him out of this and give Mr. R the first stop. Right. Placing down the C4 now that uh, he's at a lower percent. Not going to be able to, or not going to need it to recover. Yeah, and he dropped it right on the black too, so just making it a little bit hard to see. Yeah, I actually thought like during all those explosions that it went away. But I think it's still there. Yep, there yep. it is. <laughs> he's going to pull the trigger. If I was him, I would drop it right on that red Pokeball. All right, great rapid jabs right there. Going to get the ink all over him once again. Trapped on the ledge here. Ooh, but he missed space and he's going to lose the stock for it. Uh, f tilt is still strong from Snake, especially at the ledge. Launches very far. You can see the C4 on the ground again. Yeah, this time on the red. Oh, but the roller coming in. Does he have time? Down there into... Oh, the re-roller would have been too clean. Yeah, that would have been an amazing reset from Mr. R. But now, using the new to be kind of just give himself a little bit of space. Nice. Chasing with an up air. And I don't think Heavy saw him coming as quick as he was because he definitely could have got out of that situation, but a little bit trapped here. And now down an entire stock. See the grenade setup coming out from Heavy. All right, nice dash attack coming through. Oh, not able to get the follow-up, and now once again, Ink. That's almost full Ink on this man, too. Yeah, I believe Rabbit Jab is pushing at about 40 to 50 percent Ink. It's actually man, a lot of Ink. That's all. Jeez, Snake. I believe that looks like full Ink. All right, we got the Cobra out right now. Oh, no, you're going to get Ink. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, able to make it out of that situation, and now we see a forward throw. Just keeping the Ink on heavy. Yeah. Oh, drifting so low for the up air to make sure that it connected. Waiting out the air dodge, everything. Yeah, Mr. R showing just how good of a player he is. I'm surprised that Mr. R is not pulling the trigger on these forward smashes and up smashes that you see a lot of uh, Inklings getting. But maybe Heavy has one of the most godlike matches he's ever seen. I mean, he's definitely going for the guaranteed damage. Yeah. Instead of something that's a little bit more risky. If he does pop out, I mean, that's free damage. That could have been on Heavy that just eliminated. Yeah, but even, you know, if he missed the up smash, it's not that bad of a commitment because once they pop out of the ink, they still have that lag time where they can't really punish you for the force smash true. up smash. That's true. Unless they got that super mad. Oh, well. That Mario Party mad. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. I mean, that's definitely a match you only learn from Mario Party. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have, a, our, of course, going to game two, and it looked like the kick was counted to also, the I fact that he's going same. yellow angling, that's pretty unique, too. I don't think I've seen a lot of those. Yeah, he's definitely claimed the skin for himself. Okay, hey, fair enough. All right, so here we go into game two, and you're right, it's town and city for this game. Oh, the clanks. That was interesting, too, because Mr. R did get that first hidden, but was unable to follow up. And now we're going to see directional air dodge in there, escape the explosion, and make him uh, heavy, able to recover. Oh, but you saw right there, Mr. R knew exactly where heavy was going to go and threw that bomb up high, but narrowly avoided it. Wow, using roller at such a low percent. 
Yeah, I just like the way that he tilts into it. And he just, it doesn't matter if he has the read on it or not. He can get away if he misses or he can chase you if you go back. That's true, but if you do in fact roll your opponent's shield, you do stay in front of them. It makes it very easy to punish. Oh yeah, he's not going to allow that to go for free. And great ink bomb to cover himself to get back on the stage. Another dash attack. We're seeing a much more, uh, less trap heavy, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and right there though, Heavy actually had the C4 right at the ledge and he timed it almost perfectly to catch the stock on Mr. R. Falling down with the back air. Able to land an up tilt onto Mr. R, using the bomb to cover his retreat. Yeah, and you see him kind of pacing around that C4 right there, trying to force... Oh, Mr. R did the grab and held onto him until that bomb landed so that in case he needed to throw armor, he had it. So smart So Mr. Smart. R. I mean, but of course, with Mr. R being, of course, a brawl set, he's going to know the timing on those mortars, and just the amount of time that's going to take for it to fall back to the, to, uh, the platform. Right. And a great up tilt right there, going to even this out, and suddenly it's 0-0. Zero, zero. This was looking all Mr. R's way, but this is even. Right. And f is going to connect on to Mr. R. And able to weave around that main while still putting out a little bit more damage onto Heavy. Or you're coming through right into the rapid jabs. Now you're in two, and you're in disadvantage phase. But smart to go really high. Ooh, the Great. stair stepper out of shield. That's right? a good option. Like throwing these bombs at him, man. I, I love how Mr. R doesn't have any problem with that. A lot of characters freak out when they're getting a bunch of bombs chucked at them. But Mr. R opts to just hang back and throw his own bombs. <laughs> I mean, when you have uh, your own bombs, you might as well play along. Right. Win in Rome, right? Right. All right, we got that. Oh, coming out. Almost able to get him with the Nikita. Put it down to and now we see the slap bomb covering the covering a little bit of distance that heavy can camera cover. Oh the splat pushing him away, unable to get the jabs that he wanted right there. They put a good amount of ink onto uh, heavy as well. Yeah. Using the neutral at this at the ledge. That bomb covering the ledge so well, he has so many out, but Mr. R somehow sliding right through. Okay, Mr. R definitely showing how slippery it is and he gets another up throw into up air. Okay, gonna be able to maybe check chase. Oh, he had the read at first, but he dipped away. Just looking for a dash dance. He's trying to mix up uh, Mr. R, but he mixed himself up instead. Neutral air to punish the roller. So good amount of damage. And I think he's using Nikita to beat out the sweat bomb. And actually, Mr. R was able to shield that in time, too. That's so unfortunate. I thought it was gonna be a good trade, uh, losing stock for stock, but not quite. He is a chase with Nikita, but he's not gonna be able to find it. All right, yeah, you can see Heavy trying to just play this carefully. Maybe just get a grab or up tilt. Now that Heavy's discovered that he can actually pull out a grenade in between the up throw and the up air, we're going to see that a lot more often. Wow, nice. Didn't even give him a chance. Like, what option are you going to take? No, no, no. You're going to get up tilted. That's right. Now, bomb connecting onto Mr. R. Dash attack, putting Mr. R off stage. What's Heavy's situation going to be? Ooh, we're trying to bait him to the ground. Yeah, that, that's the unfortunate thing. You kind of see Heavy setting up uh, the situation where it forces Mr. R to jump, but then he's not covering the jump. Oh, tried to time it perfectly to get the down air, but the unable. Yeah, he was actually expecting nice. like really good mash command from Heavy. And now that time, when he went for the S-Mash, Heavy did mash really well. Yeah, I was about to say, he got that mash because Heavy actually does have that. I understand why Mr. R was not opting for too many uh, smash attacks out of the roller. Another stair stepper connected for Heavy. Dashing around, trying to get a little bit more damage to convert off his motor, oh, but an up throw up air connects. And that is going to do it. Unfortunate stuff. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, nobody saw that. It's all right. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, good game by both players. Excellent. I mean, yeah, it did look like Heavy was going to be able to clutch that out in the game two or possibly game one. Well, I mean, that's 